base construction. First, I need to gather some rocks. Quite a few. Rock pile, pretty handy. And yes, tree litter. Hundred dollar fine for every single one of those branches. Supposedly. First, I gather the rocks. Upon gathering the rocks, this is what my launch base now looks like. In this little hole here, that's where all the bottle rockets go. This odd rock is for support, since this one here, the big one, doesn't stand up right normally. So, let's start launching. But first, we need to get a punk lit. How to light a punk. This object here is the punk. This is a lighter. To light the punk, a few seconds. Just gotta get it all nice and black. Best done without the wind. I think that should be good enough. And there you have it. Now to get a bottle rocket in there. Yep, bottle rockets. Left over from, I think, 2005 or something. So, how do you light one of these things? I'll show you. Launch base, way over here. Think they're about six and a half miles an hour. See how I got the hole here? Insert the bottle rocket in here like this. I often prefer to get the fuse out so it's easier to get to. Now, get ready to run. First, make sure there's no cars coming. Okay, see the hot part of the punk? See the fuse, the green thing picking out, poking out? That's the fuse. Make the hot part touch the fuse. When it's lit, get back. And off it goes. It can be kind of hard to see those, but that's the basics. Now for the fun stuff, the show itself. Smoke balls. All these things do is just emit smoke. I'll show you. However, I'm going to have to swap hands. Camera on my left hand. For easier control. Yeah, because this is my right hand. Yeah, it doesn't form the L. So, this one's supposedly the red as they advertise it, but it's orange. These things you don't have to get back with. See? All they do. Get some distance so you can watch the effect. Dodge the smoke. See? That's the orange which is supposedly red. This one's white. Well, that's a pretty obvious white. So much fog here. At least you can tell where the wind's going. Uh-oh. It's heading back my way. I'll just dodge it. And this is blue. Red, white, blue. Get it? And this one's my favorite for color. Oh, the wind's going the other way. Variable wind. Getting any hints? This is yellow. No sparks there. Oh well, but that's not yellow, that's more yellow green. It was 90 degrees instead. So 
See, that's just how simple these things are. This is green. Now it's quick. Okay, that was oddly, oddly short. Okay, last one. And this one's my other favorite. Wow, pretty magenta. Hopefully my camera color glitch doesn't come in with all this. I don't know what causes it. But, one thing that would be interesting is, yeah, there's two of them there, and there's three of them there. What happens? Yeah. By twisting the fuse, you can join fireworks together. This can get a little more intense. Then now you got blue and green combining. Yay! Took a hit there. Normally, from what I'm used to, they don't do that. Okay, and three at once. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, blue. Let's see what happens. Okay, nice combination. Dodge the smoke. Yep, by combining these things, you can get lots of different colors. Very pretty, too, in a way. If you do it right. But that's what smoke balls do. Firecrackers are among the loudest type things possible. And kind of almost more more dangerous than those bottle rockets, and especially those smoke balls. For these, i do a hand swap again, because I'm used to having the camera on my right hand. What you do is you light the fuse and get ready to run. Make sure there's a clear path. Yep, nice and clear. Light it and run. Run! Hopefully the volume didn't max out. So what's left over? Huh? Take a look. Tell me what you see. No, not necessarily rocks. I'm referring to fragments like this. And that. And that, which is oddly... Never do that at all. There is still a way to bypass that. I would advise that you don't do it. Remember that crackling dynamite? No, well, that's what this is. You might notice that it's wet. That's because some rainstorms went by. Yeah, these pesky white things up here. Yeah, they can be kind of annoying. But anyway, crackling dynamite. Same thing with the regular firecracker. Light it and run. And run. Crackling dynamite. That wasn't too bad. I guess maybe next year for 2010, I guess I'll get a bunch of these done. Except, uh, should better save until dusk.